god. Just the sheer amount of neglect on this car is unreal. My tire is flat. I've also forgotten how to drive a lowered car, apparently. The tires definitely have a flat spot on them. Oh shit, the gas pedal's stuck. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Just pure neglect, yes. Like the gas pedal is stuck. <laughs> the what? The gas pedal is stuck. Oh, open? No, it's just closed because like it was like not used for so long. Huh. Damn. The pilot's in it? Look at these rotors, man. Are you moving your car out? No. Did you do this? No. Man, look at this fucking bend, dude. Whoa. Yeah, it's uh, it's hot in there. I missed that car. I missed this car too. Oh my god, it's very spider webs. Yeah, dude. Huh. Cody, someone said that you didn't look comfortable on camera the other day. Oh really? I definitely don't look comfortable on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel comfortable on camera. What? <laughs> They're right. Cody, unplug the washer and all. Are they on the hood? Huh? Are the washer nozzles on the hood? The OEM hood? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We haven't done anything yet. But then those the holes are. Unplug it. No, but anything, unplug the line. You gotta, oh, you gotta to take the hood off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we are taking my incredibly neglected IS300 wagon and we're gonna throw some parts on it that I've been collecting over the years. Today I discovered that people have been sideswiping my car left and right while it's been parked there and it's uh, very unfortunate and I'm very angry about it, but it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so I acquired these side skirts and we had to unfold them and heat them. Our Utah unfold and heated, I mean heated and unfolded Can't them. Tell. Yeah, they've been uh, experiencing plenty of heat upstairs. <laughs> Test fitting the Zero Auto Factory hood today, and then the depending on how much time we have, uh, we're gonna try to throw on the rest of the year. Your head is in the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, you hear the video? Okay. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Model Vista bumper that I had the license plate holes shaved in because it usually has this partition or a Japanese license plate, but it looks way cleaner without it. Here's the Zero Auto Factory hood that we're gonna try to fit today. Kind of worried it might hit because uh, these cars didn't really come with two, S and two JZ GEs. They had three SGE motors in them. So I, I definitely think it's gonna hit the airbox, Cody. Probably. Oh, okay. You have beams. Yeah, I definitely don't. Fine. These are my mirrors. The thing is like broken right here. So it's kind of like yeah. going Some blue lenses and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the stick is kind of fucked on it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you probably should. Thank you. I think it's a little right. Towards one way. Yeah. Those are very interesting bolts for hoods. Right? Well, it's like SRG and shit. You have, uh, M8. But there's a, like a taper on them. Oh, it's self-centering. Toyota, man. Yeah, Toyota. 
looks like it's already painted, dude. It's not gonna be nice. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure to have my vents open too so I can get all the fiberglass smells in there. <laughs> Actually, I might clear. It is pretty raised. Yeah, Oops. sorry. You good? We should have weighed this one. It's definitely like this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. it's TK now. Moment of truth. It actually fits. Oh, checking. That's something for super clear. Wow, oh, yeah. oh, wow. Look at that. Do some height on the, we use the latch. Height on the latch? Yeah, we, we gotta push it back a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna push the whole car back. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, that's cool. That's one worry out of the way, right? Yeah. yeah. Good for American market. Yeah. This one's all the way down. Got it. Also, these cars did come with two J's in them, Cody. But later on, like Koki model. <laughs> in the UK or whatever, right? No, and the wagons came with two J's in them. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. I've never seen a wagon in Japan, so I Oh, know. yeah, the Gitas came with two J's. Oh. Yeah. Sick. Now you can see how dirty my engine is. Nice. I can check my oil whenever I want. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's plenty of clearance right here. Hey, the fitment's fucking good, dude. Yeah, and now we're like, not just saying that because... Like, how's like the like, different to this? Like, how's it like the planes? Like this, I was really concerned about this line right here. Because like it comes... It's like... Fuck, they fucking nailed it. Originally when I bought the car, I was just thinking that I wasn't going to do aero and I was just going to put a vented hood on it. Now seeing it as a very bad idea. Bad idea. It makes the car look super stupid. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if the crash car comes off easily. It does. Because right here, it just looks like it's four bolts. Five. Yeah, what, three on each side, right? Three on each side. Ooh, the Whittier 350, 350Z yeah, Club. Guy, it's going on the guy. cruise, man. <laughs> It's the afternoon cruise. Oh, I have one more? Oh, yeah. There's probably something on the bottom here. Yeah. Oh, this one's broken. <laughs> what? It's missing the bottom mount. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe I can take a part of this bumper and put it on that one or something. Mm, yeah, I mean, maybe it won't even be necessary. I think it'd be nice. Be flopping around and shit. Yeah, I've got the plugs. <laughs> oh, is it the same thing? <laughs> no, definitely. No, it's thinner. No. It's way thinner. What asshole took off before? That'd be me. Plug the same? No, plug different. It's different? Yeah. For the plug lights. That one's a smaller plug. This one too. Oh wow, this. They're all different. Yeah. Oh, this one. Is it? Oh I, yeah, it I is can. the same then. Sick. Sick. So what happens when you buy OEM Toyota oh, stuff? You. Oh, yeah, flip. You can see here where the license plate section was fit. What up, yeah. It's right behind you. The new Japanese crash bar, which is how, how much shorter do you think it is? Like an inch? Maybe 20 mil, yeah, around there. Does that mean the foam piece can go back on? I'm uh, hoping. Did it work? No! Sick. Hey, actually, that might give us some nice tension. Like it'll keep the bumper like forward. I mean, it's better to have it than not. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But just zip tie it. Get the fog lights. Might as well, right? Check the. Yeah. Like check to see if they function. You see the one with the tape on it on that side? 
Oh. It's like the oh. same color honey. Wait, no, that one doesn't have tape on the side. Oh, the brown one? Sorry. Yeah, the brown one. one. Brown one, yeah. yeah. Brick colored. Uh, it's a uh, fog light plug colored. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no wire on the side. Oh, on the light? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, jeez, god damn it. You're missing a bulb, too. Wow, well, look at that. Hey, it fits way better than the stock bumper. <laughs> it does somehow. Well, it, in theory, isn't it just kind of a stock bumper? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, it's just a stock bumper. Yeah, you go way lower. Hmm. I always thought that bumper was way taller than the stock bumper. Mm -hmm. But it's actually very OEM type. Yeah, I can lower the front more. You like almost don't need a side pier. Yeah. Like it's like really even. Right? Is that the same uh this is the skirts that go with that kit? No, it's TRD. Oh. So it goes with like the first version. Every time I take a piece of this car off and they have like the the these screws, I just replace them with Honda ones. Because they're lighter? No, no, because they're slightly lower profile, so it's like, you know, less chance of hitting, and then they have a bigger washer, so I just issue with the... Uh, oh, the side skirt still lines up with the lip, Cody. Oh, shit, oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that goes over oh, okay. the stock everything? Yeah. Oh. O OEM, man. OEM optional stuff. Shit. <laughs> There's nothing to take off. What do you mean over? Oh. Sick, we'll just zip tie right. on there. There's nothing to take off. <laughs> this is rocker panel. It has like a little cut. See that little thing? That's to clear the rubber. Oh, you're going oh, the see. little rock thing? Yeah, because I was going to put it in between because I figured. Mm -hmm. But then, as it turns out, there's a little a... indention for that. And then, I don't know what this is supposed to go, but it doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Maybe from the sedan, it's different? Maybe, yeah. Oh. It could be. But yeah, how cool that the side skirts just go over the stock body without having to remove anything. They can use it for deer stuff tech. Right? Yeah. I guess with, yeah, for OEM optional stuff. And then it has this little trim on it and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the... I'll get the rears after or before paint. I said in the uh, bottom ones. Oh. Cool. I mean, I imagine he's gonna have to take it off when he paints it, anyways. Yeah, yeah. It's very similar. Yeah, I guess that's the advantage of getting OEM optional stuff. It's like it's guaranteed to fit. So today we're gonna try to install these side mirrors in my IS. These are B free mirrors that I got from Get Japan. Not really sure how they mount because put this down. It just comes with this mounting plate and some hardware. I'm hoping that it actually fits. I don't know. We'll find out right now. First thing we gotta do is figure out how to get this OEM mirror off. I think this pops off pretty easily. Huh. I don't know if it's supposed to pop off that easily, but okay. <laughs> um, behind the tweeter you see the three bolts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, unscrew those. I wonder if I can get to the harness without taking the door card off. Oh man, might have to take the harness out. So, as it turns out, we do have to take the door card off. But it's not too bad, but you need to remove it so you can get to the harness here for the mirrors because the B free mirrors don't use the harness at all because there's no power going to them. And then you gotta make sure to rewire that or remount that tweeter later. But yeah, not too bad. I took a total of like 10 minutes. So these mirrors have this metal plate as I showed you guys, and uh, they just give you this set of uh, screws and then you just kind of screw it into the plastic mirrors and the mirrors are sort of self-tapping so it'll be pretty sturdy now just, I'm just hoping that I can get the bolt because right here it's pretty tight so I don't know if the bolts they gave me they're super long so I don't know if they're gonna mount or not but they look cool here they all, all mounted up the hardware that they provided didn't really fucking work but I mean good thing we have plenty of hardware around that Utah has like Fitment is pretty good, but you know, they're aftermarket mirrors. What can you expect? I think they look cool though. Yeah, it's the look of the car. Since the car is so round now, I mean, it's already round because it's a wagon. But now with the 
bumper and the hood and everything. It's mirrors. Look pretty cool. Can't wait to see you in the cars all painted up and stuff. I think it has blue lenses too. I can't see shit out of them, but whatever. Since we still can't do car stuff, car stuff will have to come to us. Last night, I, uh, I was driving home at like 3 in the morning, right? Today, we are going to be looking at my good friend Noel Barnum's Veris Kamikaze Scion FRS Turbo. Today. I haven't seen this car in a while. Probably been a good year, I think. Hey, come here, come tell me more about the inside of your car. Like, I don't know a whole lot except that the, uh, we just pull this car backwards, uh, <laughs> the fuel lid will, will pop up on you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Whoa, that was fancy in here. Oh, wow. What what cluster is that? Uh, yeah, it's I don't sick. Know, some, so my buddy was living in Japan at the same time. He had a, I guess he was like a working for a cluster company uh -huh. that used to make Miata clusters too. Oh, okay. And, um, Basically, each part of the rings is like a billet. It's like it's billet pieces. So yeah. You have to stack them onto each other. Damn! Look at all those LEDs and stuff. So it's I cool. like it. It might yeah. be like an old. Uh... It's supposed to be like a vintage. He said he, the way he was making mine it was like an old vintage, like a Jaguar. I see. Mm. I was gonna say like a nice Sony stereo, but that's okay. Fine that's too. cool too. You know, like an old <laughs> equalizer from Sony. That's pretty yeah. cool. Was this all plug and play? Um, it's just a stock cluster, just with the with the overlays on top of it. Oh um, shit! Yeah, so basically, I had to take off like the mm. needles, readjust everything, and then just lay it on top, like just to make it work. I don't know what a stock FRS cluster looks like, so just ah, fucking all black. Okay. <laughs> just boring. Oh, it just like it's, it reads unreasonably high. Mm. Yeah. What, what yeah, not there. What is that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. So you got the cluster here, and then you got Defi. Those have, that's the uh, Burt's old, uh, old uh, Defi Imperial set, so it's metric. Mm. And then this is just a, you just took the van out? Yeah, no, it's, so a it's like ATI an ATI car. Oh. You got it from Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Tanabe or More Japan can get you that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out to <laughs> Don Vo. <laughs> the fastest Long Beach runner. Hey, no. That's Christian. He's breaking the car in. That's fine. Is he? Yeah. He's doing like what are you breaking it in? That's like a used ass engine. The dip. The dip. The dip. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing figure eights over here earlier, but then he, he ran out of room. Like a so. figure eight. It was like a. Like, he was just driving a circle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he thought it was a lot wider than it was. It. This is a C A E shifter. Yeah. With a. Yeah. So it's a C A E shifter, and then like the T R D um, shroud over it. Hmm. You know Desmond makes the 18-10 and a half with 15, right? I thought it's like plus 18. What the fuck is this for? This is just a thing. Oh. It's just like it just goes up, yeah. This is where you hide your... Um, usually on the, on the higher end FRSs, they have uh, seat warmers and shit like that. Just... Is, is that, you that like that? that? That's why it's a seat warmer? Bigger. You know you have to take the red stuff off, right? No, because I can just change it. It's a hand it's warmer. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so I can change look, it out. Your hand warmer is right now. Yeah. Oh shit, it's hot. And it's then... Cool. You can just take that out. It's hot. You've always had the roll bar in here, right? Yeah. So like oh. the cage and then roll bar. This is J blood. Yeah, dude. Oh. Uh, Matt got it for me. ICP Matt. I have. Yeah, What's J blood? The carbon visors. Oh yes. And then this thing's on air, obviously. Yeah, that, that, that's a D20, right? It's gonna blow up if he keeps doing that. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's a reverse cowboys. So. Yeah. Alex Scott from Coyote Rad. What happened? Alex uh. from Coyote Rad. Yeah. That's yeah. his car. What yeah. Was it? His, his Instagram name is Reverse Cowboy because his last name's Cow. Like C A O. Yeah, it's honestly like like top ten most creative Instagram names of all time. So this, yeah. these are J Blood. Yeah. What about this fucking thing? It's uh, some dude who makes um, carbon composites for the mask car. 
he was making like one-off parts for FDs, um, <clears throat> FRSs, I well, think uh, what, what part Subarus. Of North, what part of North Carolina does he live in? <laughs> I think he is from North Carolina. Yeah, <laughs> no bullshit, yeah. Everything's out there. Dude, yeah. like all his stuff is like legit though, man. Like it's, um, even the roof, cause it's a, like the car's already light as hell. So even though the scaling on the roof, it was already, it saved it like another, like a pound. And oh, so they were in the same place. It's the same place. So this is, these two are the same place. So like, you had to cut the whole roof off? Yeah, I mean, Bert cut off the skin like right Oh, is this with the yellow, yellow goop right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you same. put the trim back on, that's so yeah, nice. And then, then you like suck the trim back on. Yeah, like, this is cool. Yeah, so it's what? probably, I imagine, very The smaller. only thing that should suck is that this little trim piece, mm -hmm. you have to glue it back on because there's nothing to lock it into the panel. But it's glued onto the OEM yeah, glass. This is, this is a NASCAR regulation spec. It's just no. Like, yeah. Hey, this... I have NASCAR man. <laughs> It was carbon, so I got it. No, That's it looks cool. very nice. And like, did you yeah. break the glass when you took it off? No. Um, no, because when I did the roof, I pulled all the glass at once. Like I pulled the front windshield and then the back windshield. Mm. That's what I want to do that shit, right? Okay, you got like a carbon cowl thing too. Oh, that's from Jetson. Man, there's so many things on this car that I've never noticed before. That's from Jetson, but then I have the <clears throat> the oh, Barris, right? Yeah, Jetson sold it long. Ago. That's where the cars right? came from. Was Jetson's car? Uh, yeah, Jetson's a good guy to buy from because they'll spend money on shit and they'll just sell it to you cheap. Yeah, I just have to go there and take them. He's like the only person <laughs> that has it. Yeah, hell yeah. I think the only person that had them too was like uh, Jason had them mm. at that time. So you know, I've actually never seen Jason's car. It's okay. You didn't I've never seen it before either. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people haven't seen it. Like, yeah. No one will ever see it because they'll never finish it. It's in Cambodia now, so it's okay. <laughs> so this is a Varus Kamikaze. No, Part parts of a Kamikaze. Nice. Not yet. It's a Varus Arising Two, but with the Kamikaze front uh, plate things. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna meet up Edson tomorrow because he's gonna, um, you know, the, the Kamikaze events. Oh yeah. Defenders. I'm gonna wrap them in carbon and match the hood so it's gonna fade just like the hood. But you, so you have to cut this fender up? I'm gonna cut like, there has to be like a section that's gonna be cut off right here to okay. match the vent. Are you gonna oh, cut this it? Is Edson? Yeah. This is Edson? Edson, Edson did the vent. Yeah, yeah Edson. Edson, Edson, we painted Edson the is good at fading shit like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Edson's generally good at a lot of things. So we got a new spot? No, no, it's the same spot. No, it's a new spot. In North? Fingers, not the little spot we dropped our cars off to. He has another Next spot. Next to the off. shitty Carl's Jr. Yeah, he's in the same yeah, spot still. He's probably still. getting looted right the now. The one where we dropped off where your car was painted at? Uh, no, a different spot. The, the other yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The David's car was painted That's where your car, his car yeah. is painted at the new spot. Yeah, your car is painted at the new spot. Yeah. Look at him, everybody's car. Yeah, well, yeah, where we just like forced <laughs> him to paint that car. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Man, that was some really bad juju. Look at, <laughs> what kind of headlights are these? <laughs> uh, the 2017-2018 headlights and taillights. Oh. Those are all LEDs. Oh, these are like the Koki. Yeah, Koki ones. Because so it has like the front face there, but they... They bolt in just the same way. Sick. Yeah. What? I mean, they look pretty nice. And then you got these little louver things here. Yeah, this is a real TRD thing, right? Yeah. Dude, that shit sucked ordering that thing because it came in a big ass box and they didn't want to EMS it from Japan, so I had to do like slow, slow shipping on it. Oh. And it weighs like nothing. You were trying to EMS that? Yeah, dude. So he's a trendsetter, dude. He's the first one to have the it. The thing about EMS is that it's very. Um, it's They're particular on size, dude. They have a like a pretty serious size limit. I still try. It. Okay. I tried to at least DHL. So like, hey, can you guys just like roll it up or something? Dude, I tried to. These are the OG TEs, right? Yeah, OG 18, 10 and a half plus 15. Ah, uh, for the spacer. Because yeah. Varus like stuff a, is super wide. Like a 50 mil spacer? Mm. And it's still tucking. Mm. I ordered CE28. Really? Yeah. Same uh, size? No, see the plus 18 ones, the OG ones? Mm. Same bronze. Nice. That uh, pretty good. I guess they're going, they're discontinuing the CE28Ns. Yeah. And so Brian was like, hey, if you want to get in the last order, like just place your order now. Are you going to Are you gonna run a mismatch? Are you going to run T's in the front and C's in the back? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Why, Wait, why not? Put T's in the back. C's in the back, sorry, that makes more sense. Yeah, C's in the back. Yeah, so Joey said. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll do that. Let's Why just put ZEs in the front? Please don't do that. Please don't do ZEs on the other right. side. Mm. You got a ZE and then an SE37 on the other side. Put ZEs in the chest. <laughs> they all have to be bronze though. <laughs> <laughs> so like SE37. SE37 I support 100%. What's the other than the RE? RE30? RE30. Oh yeah, I got an RE30. RE30 came in my specs too, like the same specs as ZEs. Does it have the same face? No, they had a they had a weird lip though. RE? Oh. RE came 1811, ZEs came 1812. But they, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, they came up to 18. I have, I have another pair of 18, 10 and a half, 12. Mm. Or 18, 10 and a half, 15. What? Uh, Z40s. I don't like Z40s. 
Why. They're too new for him. He only likes stuff predated. Like yeah. yeah. They're not 17. You thought he doesn't care though. Yeah, AP no, racing on, brake. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That to be OG though for you talking. It's just like one size bigger than it should be. Like 17s on this one, and then I'll put 19s on that bag. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's see what's going on under the faded carbon hood. Purposely faded. Purposely faded. Oh wow, what the hell is going on here? The carbon oh, shroud. That's thing. Judson thing. That's oh. Judson. Yeah, so he wrapped it. Oh, you know who did it? It was Marty. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Marty's a very nice guy. There's no 2J in here. Not yet, not yet. So what are the plans before we dive into what we're currently looking at? Uh, I'm going to pull the motor out in the fall. Uh, we decided running right for right now. I guess we were having issues with the math being faulty, but the car's running perfect now. Mm -hmm. um, 2J is going to go in probably at the end of the year. Pretty much have everything ready for it. So. Just like a built 2J or? Yeah, so just not, just built uh, top end, not the bottom end though. Mm. So it should be interesting. I'm only going to, it's going to be twins too. I'm going to do the. Uh, okay. The Hypertune um, twin manifold. Ooh. We already have it, so it's gonna buy the FR. Trying to, yeah. You know Calvin from uh, uh, over at Crown yeah. in New York? Mm. He did dual EFR on his. Oh shit. Which one yeah. was that one? If, huh? Which car oh, was that oh, one? Car. Supra. Oh. The Supra. Oh, yes. The, the only guy I know that's like here in SoCal is that Jordan Cohen guy. But he did like a custom uh, twin setup on his. I see. But he's running two big ass. Something equivalent to Hypertune, so they want wanted me to run like a GTS 3070 something 3071. Okay, so hmm. it's like a smaller turbo just because I told him my makes perfect sense. I was like, dude, my power goal is only like seven, seven to eight, but you just want that shit like, like all the time. Yeah, okay. at least I'll be able to spool it quickly though. So that's no, no, definitely. I mean, yeah. it's really not. Are you gonna redo the, bit, the engine bay too? Yeah, so I'm gonna get recovering those stuff? holes too. Mm -hmm. You know the FRS like has, I mean the it has like the FD type of fender well. Dude, it has like the A90 type of fender well. Oh. The A90 has that shit also. I didn't know that. It's a plastic guard with no. Yeah. Because uh, when I went to go look at Ken Gucci's car, like I went to Grady the other day, I saw their engine bay. I was like, did you guys cut that? They're like, nah. That's like that on their car too. I guess it's like plastic. I don't know why. No, they're just like that. Who's Ken Gucci? <laughs> Some guy. I don't know. Some guy from Some LA. Guy. FD is like this. FRS like this. You know, FD's like, like, like that too. Yeah, FD's like that. That's the first car that I saw that was like yeah. that. I always thought the engine bays and the FDs were ugly because they had that shit. It is ugly because of that shit. Do yeah. people, when they, people do their bays on the FD, do they end up like covering that? No, they usually just leave it out. Yeah, they just leave it wide open. Because yeah. then you can see all the stuff shit. inside. But then you're just going to get dirty. I mean, it's useful, I guess, sometimes. Yeah. Like, I don't it's going to get dirtier, obviously. Yeah. But if you're going to try like, A lot of FRS guys who like, do the stance thing, they end up taking that out because they rub on it. Mm -hmm. You're going to burn right through it anyway. Yeah. Like, well, who is it? Like, stay crushing. He fucking ripped through his and it like came out or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. So, so currently we have a Gritty Turbo Kit. Yeah, it's the Gritty. I guess there's. I guess their V3 turbo kit, as you can say. This is a prototype one, so this came off of their demo car. Mm. It's been running like really well, man. Yeah? How long have you had this kit on? Shit, dude. Three two years? Two, oh, three oh. years almost? And then before this, I was the Vortex supercharger. Mm -hmm. And that was running fine, but this one just... Honestly, Vortex, it picks up boost fast, but this top end feels like so much better, dude. Yeah? Yeah. The Vortex is probably one, right? Yeah, dude, I had the uh, carb sticker and everything on that. But then, um, Grady's working a lot now with, like, carb stuff. Like, yeah, no, Grady's always been like that. That's yeah, they're trying to make that stuff, like, super legal. I know, like, a lot of their, um, Type R stuff, like, the CTR stuff, is, like, really? all, like, a lot of it's huh. going to be in, like, carb legal stuff. Interesting. Which is cool, man. Like, that's great for a lot of people. Yeah, no, definitely. They end up smuggling their car, because they're cracking down on it, too. What's different between this kit and the previous kit? Um, so the piping usually is supposed to come down, like the intercooler is like like a lot larger, so the piping goes out wider. Uh -huh. um, Cause technically it's supposed to be built for a built FA20, but mm -hmm. this is not a built FA20. Yeah. Um, so the piping literally, it's a smaller turbo and the piping goes down to here. So the intercooler is restricted just to the front of the engine bay. Oh. So, so it's like a lot wider. So it's to be able to take in more air than for a bigger turbo. So this is their intercooler it's on their there right intercooler too, yeah. Okay. Everything, yeah. So it's some of the piping just um, altered. You can tell it's like a lot bigger. So I had to use like for when buying this kit, they said oh. you needed to use a bash bar. In this too? Huh? And it's not it's not bar and plate, yeah? No more? I don't think so. Oh, interesting. It like fills it up just perfectly. Yeah, right? it fills it perfectly, dude. It's a lot bigger than the photos I saw of like the last like rendition they had. At least the ones yeah. that they published. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Because you great. see how small the, the original kit is. Like yeah. The fucking yeah. intercooler is like, like mm -hmm. big. Because they don't want to blow up customers' engines and And you're stuff. able to like feed the intercooler kit through... Like it's like it goes through these holes right here. Like you're able to feed it underneath without altering any of this. Oh, I just mm. so it actually down. Comes in. Yeah, so oh, it okay. fades down like that. Is the manifold different too or no? Same manifold. Bigger turbo. It might be a different manifold. I don't know what the other one looks like. But it was interesting, like how much they changed the intercooler piping though. Because mm. like it's much larger, and like a lot of people ended up wanting to run this intercooler on the older setups, but it was totally different. Mm. Oops, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just kicked you, it. I didn't step on it. I just kicked just, it a little bit. Kick, it's fine. That's a good fix. It. It's fine. Yeah. He's gonna he's oh gonna paint this shit it's anyways. Go it's fine. Anyway. Yeah. It's fine. I, I, just I kicked kick it like four times it's already. Okay. I feel like everybody does that. When yeah. You're Dude, that's what happened at SEMA. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like well, when you towed it there. Uh -huh. Remember? And uh, somebody sent me a picture of some chick just like standing on my uh, leg. Mm. Cool. They oh, thought that's course. what it was for. Yeah. They're like, oh look, there's a step. It's a And then I can step here, and then I can step here. Just walk. I was like, oh, How often do you step on the side things? Not, not as often, dude. Because um, I feel like my footwork, my footwork gets stuck in there and getting out. Dude, before it had that little shroud on the side, like the the vertical shroud. Yeah. Um, I wasn't hitting it that much. Like, um, I, I mean, before I was hitting it more often, but after it, I wasn't. Hmm. But I was more cautious of it. I would definitely like just stick my foot right in there, which was my goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like bend. Dude, that's what I thought of. I was like, when that wasn't there, I was like, I'm gonna step on this shit one day. Oh, and then when yeah. I first got it onto Vico. Well, good thing it's so close to the ground, so even if you do, it kind of just stops there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, this yeah. carving bar is pretty sick. Yeah. It's, it's really well made. Yeah. That was one of the things like I wish I bought like a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, so it's their titanium set too. Oh shit! Mm. No wonder. Some dude like ended up selling it. Huh. Ball in this way. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. No, oh, dude. It's been a long time. So last time I was here, you weren't even here. It was just you, so I just chilling. Oh, I was probably at home. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see. The TJ should be looking pretty nice at least. <laughs> I imagine it will be very Is nice. Is the engine all nice looking and shit? Well, I'm trying you got any to. photos? It's a lot of hypertune stuff on it, right? Huh? Like everything is hypertune visually? Uh, yeah, hypertune. Damn. Intake manifold, valve covers, exhaust valve covers, manifold. Yeah, the fucking oh. billet valve covers. Even hypertune. I have a uh, Jason's hypertune engine mounts too. That's sick. What the fuck? They made an engine mounts? Yeah. Oh. But Jason couldn't run it because he had VVTI. Oh. And I have non-VVTI motor. Because I bought my motor with Mark. Mm. About two, two, two J's at oh yeah, Mark also has a 2J. Yeah, he's, really he's putting an S13, right? He's putting an S13, How's yeah. That coming along? He's almost done, dude. Okay. He's just like as far as I am. But he has his management already. Okay. I the only thing I'm, that's the only thing I'm really looking for really the management. What are you, what, what are you finding, Ron? Probably um, the same thing that Grady did, Link. Oh yeah, Link ECU is good. Yeah, yeah. As he said, because it was going to be Motec, but then Rywire was like, I mean, you don't have to, like, you have other options. And then Haltech just came out with engine management. They were able to access the CAN. Cause I'm keeping like ABS, AC, like you, a bunch of shit. Like the the chassis side, all that stuff. Yeah. So you're trying to adapt it, in, integrate that. Okay, I see. So you're keeping AC too? Yeah, I'm keeping AC too. Hypertune AC. <laughs> I know, oh, right? No. Just, just tell them Billet you AC. Billet AC compressor. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go with that thing. Too. So yeah. it's like Jason Booth territory. I'm not yeah, gonna go with that. Jason needs to chill. Do you have your engine harness already? No, that's no? what, cause that's I don't what, wanna... That's what Dura's making. Dura's supposed to be here, actually. Well, they had oh. one. Uh, Rywire had a harness, uh -huh. but it was just straight OEM, like 2J motor, because yeah. remember, Rywire was going to do a car. Yeah. So he had one to a Motec uh, M1, M150, mm -hmm. and that's what I was going to go with, but I ended up figuring out that Motec, I guess, each part that I wanted to do was an added, like, added cost. Right. Mm -hmm. When I could do Link, and Link is able to have the integration yeah. without having to pay the extra cost. The newer Link stuff is pretty fucking amazing, dude. Dude, I saw it on the Grady car. That shit's tight, yeah, dude. It's, like it's, mm -hmm. it's Link stuff is really easy to work with, too, right? Especially the last, yeah, because it, it's 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 like literally plug and play. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how and what how much power you're aiming for? Like, like realistically, anywhere between like six to seven fifty. Because I want I want to I want those turbos to max out because if they max out like seven fifty, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then so I was like I'm just gonna max out the turbos and that's it. And then Hypertune makes the swap mounts for it. Yeah, so they already have everything. I have like the intake plenum, the turbo manifold, the really valve covers, and then the. Is it like a bolt-on mount kit, or do you have to like? It's a bolt-on mount. You don't have to cut bolt -on. anything. No. Oh shit. No, it's, and then um, you're able to have it adjustable. Wait, what what can do you use? It's gonna be the. Uh, what do I need? The OEM one. Uh, like a uh, Bristol one is good. Like it's front, yeah, front, rear, front, front, front. The, the front one. Okay. So that puts it ahead of all the. 
deer rag and all that stuff. Yeah, so we didn't come in the contact. But then what's cool is the two J I bought came from Marissa. Nice. So I was like, perfect. Dude, I got a deal on that shit though. Because we bought, me and Mark bought our game for like three grand. Okay. It was, it was like, like a two for one, 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 one special or something? Yeah, because we bought them both at the same time. Where did you get it from? Um, where, you guys remember the yellow Supra? The, the wrapped one, JDM yeah. Specialties. The one that John Pop always hangs out with? That guy like David or whatever? Oh yeah, with the gritty one. JDM of California. Yeah, JDM of California, yeah. 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 The motors were perfect, man. Nice. Like, we broke down the motor, looked at everything, they were clean. They were super, super clean. That's cool. They're local too, right? Yeah. But that's the only reason, dude. Like, I'm waiting to get everything from the 2J before I pull this shit out. Mm. Like, oh, I don't want to pull this shit out yet. Mm. Because I don't want to just have it sit, man. Here's here, I'm gonna get the gate. Sick. Everything is like, like the OS Gaikin flywheel, the carbon fiber drive shaft, our OS Gaikin GT clutch and then flywheel, mm -hmm. and uh, carbon fiber like drive shaft, like everything that's like still here, even like the Toyota throttle body, like I'm just gonna sell that all whenever when we're done. For the AC, what are you gonna do about the lines? Are you gonna have to make lines for it? Because you're not gonna want, because you're not gonna be able to run the condenser no. and everything, right? No. That's why we're gonna have to just custom pipe the lines ourselves. You have to make the lines. Yeah. I mean, they have companies that'll make them. I mean, it's gonna be some, but that's like the kind of thing I want though. It's a California car. You want that OEM functionality for it to be like yeah. AC. And then like, you're gonna run a, a digital display, obviously. Right? I was gonna try to run the stock display because of like how much I spent on that shit, but I want to run like a like an AIM display or like yeah. something. Yeah, because like, uh, how it's does... It's easier. They said yeah. it's a lot easier just plugging it in. Hmm. So we'll see, dude. I mean, I'm excited because I told Etsy, I was like, I want you to repaint the bay and everything too. Yeah, yeah, the bay could use respray. Yeah, because that's what Bert's doing. He's his, uh, his car is at uh, Strasbourg right now. Okay. So we'll see. He's going to do it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never knew it came with that. It has like a lot number when it was made and yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. So all, everything was made to order. I think there's some on the side too. Like every piece has it. Like every one of these pieces have it. Mm. There's one like right here. That's like there's a lot number on every various piece that there's a lot number on. Yeah. So specifically made. Like you'll know like because the side pieces were made after the kit was made. Because mm -hmm. they came in like six months after. Yeah. Hopefully the 2Js. The 2J comes in like how, how That'd all be my cool, man. to be. Are you worried about the car hooking at all? Like That's why I don't want to go for that high of a horsepower, dude. <laughs> like, I want to have settings to the point where if I just daily it'll be like four, four fifty. Yeah. I mean, 500 streetable is very it's still a lot over the top already. Yeah. yeah, just be spinning tire, yeah. and you're gonna keep the suspension the same, right? Air and everything. Yeah, it's gonna have to be air. Mm -hmm. Just because no of way. the kit. Yeah, there's no way. That's why when Jason was running, he's running at a lot higher, and like the car was high. Yeah. Because that was the only way he was gonna squat too hard, and he was. That's the only way he's gonna get traction. But you're not gonna do all the kamikaze pieces. You're just doing some. I'm of it. just doing the kamikaze like the over fender. Like here, and then like the. Like mm. Shit, look who escaped from oh, quarantine, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it feel like to be outside? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So just like a little bit of the kamikaze stuff. Mm hmm. Because, I mean, if you run all of it, it's kind of a little. It's a little it's, much. It's a much. I mean, we saw Brian's car. Brian's car looked great. Yeah. Open that one, and then pop the other the, one. Wait, when you're, just pop when your car is like, it doesn't open it. That's uh, how it is. Like it's a push, it's a push type, right? Oh. It's no, like, it's like the one. Like, it's like those Russian dolls. When you keep opening the door, the door gets smaller and smaller. Yeah, there's actually a smaller door inside. <laughs> Wait, so you have to go Wait. inside and open it. It's not one of those. No, it's, it's a pop. Oh. Damn, this thing is fucking huge. Oh yeah, thanks, Mars. Because it has to so, pivot outward. Look how big the kit is, Joey. <laughs> so do you have to? Do you pop it. come out here, open this first, then go inside, and then pop that? And no, no, I just pop it from the. This inside. pushes this door yeah, open. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't make contact with it. Is there another door? Yeah, there's another door. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Is there another cab? There's another oh, cab. Damn. Just that cab. Why would you get it a TRD gas cab if you oh, can't even? If it takes two doors it? to get yeah. to it. How hard Wait, is it? Because it, it can only open this much until it hits no. the bracket. Do you have to use the pump oh. upside down? No, oh. <laughs> Actually, does, it hit, does it hit right here? A gas tank, like a gas canister in the back. It's only like one gallon. <laughs> no, no. So no. Cause, uh, oh, because it can't clear this shit. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. So you don't have to go upside down. There's supposed to be a magnet here. As you can tell, I never finished the magnet. It's just double sided tape. They painted no, the inside of this? The or? Way, yeah. You know, I think mm. you're supposed to just remove the OEM door. You're supposed to. The yeah. Race car but he doesn't want his, his gas stolen because he lives in. I live in Long Beach, man. That's yeah. why I can't own an EK. I gotta beep that out. Oh, you live in Long Beach? Yeah. I mean, it's not a blind spot or anything, right? How do you clean the rear window? It comes off hard as a blind spot. Oh, it comes that's true. The whole car is a blind spot. What do you know what's that? Sit in the car, I can see through the back window. There's a big old wing and there's like the Okay, the wing kind of fucks You can't even see the back, how do you reverse? You can go sit in the car, you can see through it. Dude, it's like level to where you're sitting, so you can look through the back window. Oh, because it's TRD. The real deal. I mean, you can kind of see stuff. Hey, you can see some stuff. And then the bars get in the way, and then the wind gets in the way. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> There's really no point in looking behind you. How high do you sit? Why is your mirror so high? Is this because you don't use this anymore? Oh, like, I barely see that shit, dude. <laughs> I don't look through that anymore. Oh, you should get a Broadway mirror. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, you're not down the... Dude, you thought... You want to know how I ended up going various? <laughs> this bitch was like... Yeah, dude, like everyone had Rocket Bunny. I had Rocket Bunny. And I did the Vertex size in front when no one did it. And I was like, yeah, dude, like Varus is cool, but I'm not willing to spend like eight grand on a fucking kit. She was like, just fucking do it. And I'm like, <laughs> I, like I pondered that shit for like a good, like. Even though I would never do it. <laughs> yeah, and Joey was like, <laughs> bitch ass Joey was like, I guess we were sitting in the meeting with uh, Rajit. He was like, I can't believe you're doing this. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you can't, you can't believe I'm doing this? Wait, Joey said that? Yeah. He paid after, cash after too. After instigating yeah, it? Yeah, I don't pay cash. Can you pay cash, bro? How old are you? Are you 14? Money. 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 It seems like a reasonable price for the pretty nice. Yeah. You didn't pay 8 grand for it, that's for sure. Wait, more? No. Less? Not. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. But then it ended up still being a lot because I added all the carbon shit. Yeah. Oh, I mean, how much would you say you've spent on this car from start to finish? Everything. Probably. Probably double the car, realistically. Like a hundred k, you think? This is not fifty thousand dollar car, Joey. No, but all the stuff that he's added to it. You double the car, right? Well, I know for sure double the car. Sixty thousand dollars. We'll say like, uh, dude, probably upwards, like including all the suspension work and everything that was done to it too. Mhm. Mm because this has white line everything also, so the yeah, end like Start probably around finish. probably like around a hundred for sure over a hundred with the two J now. Mhm. Mm because two J have already dropped like. That's 50. probably over a hundred, right? With the two J yeah. stuff. Yeah. Seems reasonable to me. Yeah. Cause I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna sell this car, dude. Mm. Never. You don't have it. to justify. It says reasonable. <laughs> no, cause like like it's one of the cars yeah. I wanted to like go from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Like that's the last thing I ever like. Joey knew like the last thing I ever wanted to do was just swap this shit. Yeah. And the 2J was gonna be perfect. And like in my head, that would have finished the car was the 2J. It was gonna be how it's supposed to be built. And like with AC and everything, like that's how I envisioned the car. Well, I honestly like thought you were gonna try to get a Supra. I wanted to get a Supra, then I was gonna end up cutting the Supra up, mm -hmm. like how we did it with this car. Mm -hmm. But I was like, there's no point, it's just me starting over with a different chassis. The, it's the same car you're building, just I'm a just different building chassis. building in my head with a different chassis, yeah. Cause what, I would end up buying a red Supra. Yeah, it would have looked just like this. Yeah, on TEs, Varus. the Varus wide body, and then a Swan neck, the Voltex Swan neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. So. I like this. This is my favorite FRS in the entire country, even though yeah, I think not so. biased or anything, but it's just a really nice car. You know what I'm saying? Like Dirk came out of hiding to come see this. I didn't cool. have any Wi Fi though. Yeah, because so. he has no Wi Fi. <laughs> Dirk knew there was Wi Fi here because of that big ass tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 5G tree. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? No, I don't know. No, it's not a 5G tree. It's been here. It's, it's a that joke that people say like 4G. 5G. So every, once everything's done, that's it then, right? Yeah, man. I feel like this car has been done for a while. Dude, no. it's been like this for a while. It's, yeah. the, it's the most complete FRS build, I think. Is it? In, the, in North America. That's not... The only reason I did it like this was because I wanted to make sure that people do it was like privately owned. Oh, a street car. Like a street yeah, car. It's not like a, it's like definitely a street catalog car. car, like a company built car. You remember when it was yellow? Fuck you, no. <laughs> hey, I posted oh, up that photo. Oh, I do remember. No, you guys don't remember <laughs> when it was yellow. Wait, so was that car like... It was... Was this kit? 
and then it was the rock of rocket bunny. It was rocket rock bunny. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Look, man. It's a Mandela effect. No wonder you remember that. Never happened. Yellow. I remember <laughs> there's that. no photos. If you look for it, there's no photos. <laughs> no, it was that year like seven or something. No, no. And it? then you came for like in the morning, and then you had to leave. Mm -hmm. before yeah. One is. I had VSKFs on it. It was bright yellow. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, were those Brendan's VSKFs? No, right? No, no those are mine. Those yeah. Dude, I got those things for like 1800 bucks. Those are the wheels that they have to put on the car to get on the trailer? No, that was something else. I put on the SSR. Oh, yeah, yeah, that few ones. You still have this? Yeah. Those are like my favorite wheels, too, man. Yeah, those are good wheels. They're great looking wheels. I just pushed on my like a little bit wider because it, yeah. it's not that wide. Remember how we went like 10, 11 and a half? I don't remember. It was like a weird sizing. I kind of wish we'd do like 10 and a half, 12. Oh. When, when you ran the 50 on there, did you have to trim or was that just like coincidence that it just fit perfectly? Like I that? tried to go with the biggest spacer I can find and it was a 50 mil spacer at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was like hub centric and everything. Too. Oh, okay. Um, nice. So I was like, I'm just going to stack it because I saw King Yushu run a 50 mil spacer also. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just going to try it. And then it fit and I was able to tuck it. Um, and then the front ones, I need to go wider because the Kamikaze comes with the, the yeah. lever fender. So and you're going to put that on? I'm going to put that on. Um, and then I need to extend that space for like another five mils. Are you worried? Of, are you worried about the paint later matching? I'm gonna have just Hudson respray it. See, it's a proper way to do it. What? It's gonna have the whole car resprayed. I I have it. Edson it makes sense. Yeah. Um, just because like I know Edson's work from like when he repainted the. Because uh -huh. remember the first time he did he did this car after Rocket Bunny. Uh -huh. um, what it was is that he only repainted like my hood at the time and then the kit, but everything matched. Uh -huh. Cause he mm -hmm. sanded it back down to like there's no clear and he re-cleared the whole car i see so i was like you technically i want him to do the same process and fix any of the areas that were cracked that from just the car being the same for the last four years the, does crack. he always surprise you with something like he surprised me with the hood yeah. edson got the surprise he always like if he paints your car he always oh, does a surprise so the was a surprise yeah yeah he, okay, surprise. he knew that we did that shit's a bird's hood uh -huh. way back when yeah it was xb i was like hey dude this is super tight he's like oh i guess i'll do something for you and i was like okay and he showed it to me i was like that shit is amazing. <laughs> I was like, I would have never thought to do it in the manner he did, yeah. like how it fades yeah. it into yeah. it. With Salem's car, he did the black trim on the on the bumper and the hood. When he did the spoon bumper and then the yeah. hood, he did like the little things. That's an always like surprise. He surprised me by not bolting my taillight back together, so my trunk got flooded. Yeah, <laughs> it's still a surprise though. It's still a surprise. <laughs> I had a garden in my trunk. Yeah, that's fine, dude. That's and then a, with my surprise. with my cue, what did he do? What was the surprise? He was there? gonna paint your kit, but he painted the whole car. Oh yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, what he did. Yeah, that's that a, that's a good surprise. He repainted that was the whole a good car. Surprise. But yeah, always with the surprises. I wonder what he's gonna surprise you with this time. He's gonna paint your roof for you. Please. Don't. <laughs> no, he's gonna replace your. You can put the glass back in. <laughs> glass back in the back. I mean, just paint over it. It's yeah. gonna be like a stripe he's, down the middle. He's like, no, I noticed your windows in the back were broken, so we oh, put windows man. back in. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting because the yeah. like the kamikaze shit. I just wanted to look, kind of match like how Edson's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And um, there's like a little bit of pieces like I want to add that's like carbon. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Just some of the stuff is just gonna be. I know Edson like has like a little tricks that he does. Yeah. So I just want to see what he does with it. The yeah. roof isn't cleared though yet, right? The roof is cleared. It is. The roof oh. is cleared. The back windows are cleared. Strauss, I had Strauss do that. Oh, mm -hmm. I, see, I, see. I had Strauss re, uh, re clear the top because when I first got it, it was still the. Just resin. It was just okay. resin, yeah, because the way the, the composite guy, he's like, I technically don't do it. Yeah. If you want to have it cleared, I can clear it, but most people just wrap it because it's for NASCAR. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is legit like carbon, like carbon carbon. He's like, yeah, it's like the lightest shirt. NASCAR? Yeah. Oh, I mean the guy that makes the stuff. The guy that made all the NASCAR yeah. stuff, he made that one. He was, yeah, North Carolina. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He did some like crazy ass Subaru stuff too. He did like the Subaru back doors and stuff like that. Yeah, he did some crazy shit. That's really cool. Hmm. I'm going to tell Edson to surprise you with something. I'm going to bring my car back there. I'm going to be like, you know what? Paint his end plates. No. For which car are you taking that? Oh, I'll yes. the under part oh, of the, yeah. the spoiler. I want to wrap the under part of the spoiler like red. Oh, the bottom half. Like the, the bottom. bottom part of it. Can you put financial mistake on it like everybody else? Can you just color match the whole thing? I mean, I want to do the just do the whole wing, but not the swan neck. The, the, like, I don't know. I, mean, I, I just, I just want the bottom part because the top part's gonna at least flow with the roof. Well, you never know because Edson's gonna surprise you with something. Oh, so. oh, is it, it's just okay, gonna fade fine. in the middle, dude. <laughs> can you can you do the, the outside of the end plates? What do you mean? Out. Oh, yeah, you like these. The Why don't you just wrap these? So I wanted like this so, part. So always contrast. Yeah, so there's uh, contrast in the hood again. I'm gonna have him paint this. Please don't. <laughs> I've, seen that shit, dude, I've seen that shit painted. Fuck, no. Nope. It looks bad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they have the fake ones that are painted uh, like the lost, the lost black. Fake fake ones? Yeah, they're 
Yeah, yeah. Like Ike, like dude, the these Ike guys like super popular. It's probably like double side tape and shit. I thought he was gonna want to sell this shit. Dude, there's actually brackets on the box that hold them oh. together. Yeah, the real one, I'm yeah, sure, it has it. Yeah. yeah. So it goes into the, the trunk mounting. Sick, dude. Do you ever get like Trans Am guys like complimenting you and stuff? <laughs> you're, you're, uh, it's Camaro guys. Oh, man. Camaros? Yeah. yeah, they're like, oh, like, did you make that piece? And I'm like, sick ass louvers. They're like, yo, I want to put that shit on. Oh, it's 350Z guys that want it. Oh, yeah, 350Z yeah. guys wanted that shit. But yeah, I'll have that cinema repaint the car. When are you going to do that? I'll do it when the motor's out, so I'll just trailer it to him and have him mm. repaint the car. Because uh, oh, the bay's never been painted off. The bay's never been yeah. painted. So when I'm going to give him the car, it's literally going to be stripped. And then, like, the wing's off, everything's off. I'm gonna get mine done first then. No, do you have a lot of time, dude? I'm yeah. Because I'm still gonna, I still have to mock everything into place in the bay. Yeah. And uh, like our buddy just bought like an XRP machine so we need to run on the line. Sick. Yeah. So we're gonna oh, try shit. to. Oh shit, hey, do you find my house?